piss off. Actually, you know what? No, I don't even mind these stupid challenges. And you know what? If you really want to see me struggle that much, I'll go ahead and struggle because it's all for the viewers. That's me, YouTube 2018, all for the viewers productions. I'll do anything you guys... What's that? You all want me to jump off a bridge? Of course you do. Right, well, best get it over and done with. It's the Kwingy King Ching Empire. It's just gonna be fun, isn't it? Just that right there. That's why it's gonna be fun. China is notoriously known for being a bit of a hard nation to play in Victoria 2. Not so much in the base game, but in HBM, it's a bit broken. So don't worry, guys. I'm gonna I'm gonna be showing you the struggling part, and I also want to show you the non-struggling part. So there might be some cheats used in this. There might not be. I don't know. I, li I literally, I don't know. I've never tried China before in HPM. I'm using this weird version of HPM that's been modified to actually allow us to do China, but it's it's still not going to be easy. And I I'm, I won't lie, I probably might have to cheat if it doesn't go too well. But I, I think, I, I kind of just want to see China fall apart. Yeah, first things first, we, we kind of just need to sort out this mess that is our so-called army, because... It's sure it's an army. It's just not gonna do that well and it's kind of in the way and they're all running out of supply and they're just eating each other. Oh yeah. I forgot about that. Chinese guy that thought he was like the second coming of Jesus or the second brother of Jesus or he was slightly related to Jesus or he might have been third cousins replaced from Jesus. I don't know. He might have just met Jesus in the pub, but basically he's obsessed with Jesus and they had a big war about it. God a baby boom. I think that's the last thing we need in China is more people. It's literally just having more people be born who want to kill me. Because everyone in China at some point is going to want to burn this place to the ground. So uh, the Western Asian is going to be the same as when we were playing as India. But the, the thing is, uh, there's just more things in the way. Such as the fact everyone can just be bought, apparently. Fortunately, there's no way to buy them in favor of building some damn factory. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, th that's probably not good, is it? No, you can be smart here and not even fight the British and just give them Hong Kong. But you guys want to see me suffer? And if I do end up cheating, you're never going to see me suffer. So, okay, Britain, come come get me. Ah, female shortage of women in people's lives, eh? Just like a lot of you guys who are watching the video, right? Right? So far, British haven't really landed, but the Koreans have beat their navy, which is... I, I wasn't really expecting that from the Koreans. Well, that came out of nowhere. Oh, apparently one revolt wasn't enough. Just needed a few hundred thousand more of the... Oh, look how many there are. Yeah, I was going to stay as China, but um, after that revolt, I think it's time to uh, jump ship a little. That's right, it's Heavenly Kingdom time. Although, because uh, all my army died, <laughs> don't actually have an army starting off, so we just got to quickly build one. That does mean the Qing also don't have an army, and... Guangdong is also taking initiative here and getting out while they still can. For that, all you need to do is claim to be the uncle of Jesus Christ and uh, you get Western influence. Who'd have thought it? Well, we won. I don't know if this puts us in a better position than if we stayed as China, but we, we love Jesus now. All of the Qing sub-state regions, though, have broke free, so we do need to go ahead and reintegrate those guys quickly. You know, I was like, why, why is it just this big red state in Japan? I don't recognize that. But then I look closer. What the hell? Oh no, Jesus' best friend died. Which means now we've got to either go ahead and become a monarchy, some sort of weird dictatorship, or a republic. I, I, I don't actually know which one I want to be. I, I guess I'll, I'll go, I'll let the army in, be in control. Why the hell not? Oh god, what the hell is my flag? Did I make the wrong decision? Oh, oh we found out what a microscope is. Now, now we can just look at really small things, like... The stability in our nation. Could be worse though. Could be getting overrun by socialists in 1869 with a fully formed Germany that's already taken Alsace-Lorraine off the French. Doesn't look too good for him, does it? Yeah. Spoke a bit too soon there, didn't I? Kun does offers us an alliance. Kun does. Who the hell is Kun does? So far, it's just been a good 40 years of me clicking buttons, but there you go. We're Western. But this ain't the end of it. Not even close. Now, if you're doing this in vanilla right now, this, what you want to do straight away is start building factories. But there's a little added surprise for China once they were to die that we've got to deal with first. Just give it a few minutes. Our scientists in our country have discovered freedom. Bit, pretty ironic that we got this alliance straight after as well. Hello, we got great power. Everything's going real good, right? It's going real good, isn't it? Oh, Sweden's gone bankrupt. I sure hope my country never goes bankrupt. Oh. 
Wait a second. So when you westernize a China in HPM, your, your country explodes into the warlords. Yeah, it's really not fun. You know, just hey, you just westernized and got your na nation stable, and then China's like, nah, not today. You can you can do it pretty quickly though if you just keep truth breaking, but it does mean you get no prestige, which is the problem now, and you miss out on all the fun stuff happening in the world. Like World War One. Overall, I just don't really recommend you ever play China. It's actually a little bit trash to do. Go yeah, seven years into the game, you can finally play. But I, I couldn't get this part of China back for whatever reason. And there's also just dead countries units all over my country. Also, Manchuria looks like this. I, I, I don't know why. It just does. Ah, oh, now Russia lost their Great War, and now they're asking for Vladivostok, basically. But uh, I'm gonna say no because. I'm really not scared of Russia. Okay, now this is where the fun begins, boys. Ah, it's the best message I've seen all game. Oh, there we go. Now, now we're looking pretty damn good. Other than Manchuria and the few Yan clique. I don't know what's going on there. Oh, really? Do, do we really need another revolution? Oh my god. And, and it re-released Tibet. Why would it re-release Tibet? I, I just don't even know anymore. I, I finally got rid of them, though. That's... Good, isn't it? Are you all happy? Just, just look at all these dead units all over my country. Ah, oh, I, I could just re-allow slavery. Do you know what? Why the hell not? Yeah, probably gonna use you in the past like five revolutions. This is the first time someone's actually wanted to be my friend, and I'm. I think I might cry. Uh. Mm, nah. <laughs> That's gonna be a no from me, Russia. Oh, well, Germany wants me to go to war with France, and I have I even had a war this game other than against Britain? Although, tell you what, while I had it, might as well just go to war with Russia. You know, just let's get it over and done with. Since I've not spent any money for me the whole time as well, I'm gonna go ahead and actually dismantle them too. There you go. Was it worth marching all the way through Siberia and whatnot, all the way to Moscow, just to dismantle Russia? Probably not, but. What else am I honestly going to do in this playthrough? So the reason that uh, people don't want China westernizing and it's so hard to do is because you have so many population, your industry score is that it actually breaks the game. Also just straight up break the game by building so many infantry units or just uh, any sort of units whatsoever that there's never enough resources on the market because you're constantly buying them up, which is just... It's, it's actually really good to do. Uh-oh. Got it kind of revolution although i'm just gonna i'm just gonna go afk for this one and if they win you know that's, that's just on them i wasn't here oh what the hell guys i came back and i'm communist Je oh you guys are supposed to stop this happening right i'm actually i'm actually not gonna build all these units though because it's breaking my game i can't build any ships because i can't get any canned goods there you go now that i'm not eating up the entire world supply of baked beans i can build my ship oh looks like i'm not the only one that went afk for five minutes in a very coincidental revolution time oh i, I guess they went afk once more because that the fascists just took over straight away. And yeah, I really any places kind of left to uh, take over anymore. Manchuria broke free from me. I didn't even realize it used to be my satellite, but uh, I, I guess we can finally clean up this mess. Oh, there you go. Ten years left of the game, and this is all we've accomplished. Now, I do have the fun option of installing communism in a few countries, though. So you know what? Why the hell not? There you go. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Now, now we've got the Far Eastern Republic. Yay. Man, it was late game economy. It's actually really strong. I've only got 1,500 and Britain's got 4,000. Jesus. Yeah, sorry, Britain. I think it's time we uh, go ahead and take that back. What did you miss? Oh, just me fighting Britain for three years and then I dismantled them. That's literally it. Okay, we can get the stupid Mussolini weird face totalitarianism thing. I, I don't know why Mussolini's in our country because we're communists, but sure. Um... Excuse me? I just realized now that we're communist, our, um, our newspaper looks a little bit different. Also, Montenegro invented the armored car. Uh, I don't really want to be your friend, Japan. In fact, I'm, I'm just going to go ahead and declare war on you because I have a free castle's belly. Who the hell's the workers' commonwealth? Is that Poland? That's the next best thing. It's Britain. <laughs> Why? I just beat you so hard. Why do you want to be my friend? This battle's been going on for so long. I haven't recorded the whole thing, but th this, this battle alone has been going on since the start of the war and uh, I, I want to see just how many people have died in this battle. Ah, there you go. 750,000 dead Japanese people. Right, probably only fair that I go ahead and just dismantle their nation. You think after losing like almost a million guys they, they wouldn't be that willing to still fight but Japan goes on. Well, 
that, that's basically our entire game done now. Well, there's game over. Um, I, we really did do that much. It, it wasn't a fun game, I won't lie. It was very uh, boring. Uh, it took forever. I did get number one, not in economy though, because I, I wasn't really micro-ing it how I should have been. I wasn't expanding all the time. But you can get a real, like, gnarly economy as uh, China, as you can probably see, because you know, I just got 3,000 industrial score in the time it took, like, everyone else to get 4,000 in, like, 20 years or something. But I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you le leave a like hit the subscribe button either way and uh, uh do i recommend playing china no why would you